My name is Jeff Greenberg. And I'm Rich Harrington, and we're taking a look at Adobe Bridge and its ability to create collections. If you haven't watched the movie on keywords and ratings, go take a look at that, because the end product of it is what we're looking at here. There are two really cool things that we can do with, well, there's a number of cool things we can do with collections, but Rich? I think one of the easiest is the ability to save a selection. So if you've gone through and maybe with a client, picked out the images that they like, you could go ahead into the Collections tab, and I can click the plus button here to create a new collection, and it's going to include all the selected files in it. So I'll say that this was John's pick. And then let's say I've got multiple clients that I need to make happy, or I've gone through on my own, and I'll say, all right, well, I've got that. Let's come back here, and I'm taking a look at all the images within there. Show me the four-star images that I chose and also add in the four and the five. So there they all are. I've got them selected. I can make another collection saying top rated. And so in doing this, you can quickly create different combinations. Let's just switch this over to the icon view so it's a little easier to see. And as we switch between those, you'll see that different images were included in each collection. Now, you've been building these via filter, which is really nice and powerful. It gets us access to things like the star ratings. But I think also what's pretty cool here is uh, two features. One is, of course, and I think it's where we ought to end off, is the quick, uh, the, the, the review that we looked at earlier and how it can build a quick collection. But I'd like to first take a quick look at smart collections. Yeah, smart collections are just that, smart. So when you choose to make a smart collection, you decide what you want. For example, you could say, show me everything that had a date created after a certain time period. So if you just want to see everything that came in on one day. It makes it really easy for event-based stuff to, to be able to collect and grab those things quickly. And what's really wild here is, of course, Bridge and a lot of images these days, more and more metadata is coming in. So you could start to pull things like, show me all my clips that have copyright information attached so I could check on getting clearances, or show me everything of a particular bit depth or that has certain keywords or even GPS data. So it's amazing how much material you could build a smart collection. It includes any metadata you've added or that the camera's added. It really comes down to, for the stuff you've added, you actually have to go through and add that metadata. And the more and more clips you have, probably the more and more vital it is for you to actually add that metadata. And what's great here is that it can actually look on a whole drive. It doesn't just have to be the folder that you're in. So you could tell it to go ahead and create multiple smart collections, such as scan this drive and go ahead and find everything that was shot on this Monday, and then this Tuesday, and then this Wednesday. And even if it's been spread out all over all sorts of folders, you could start to make daily collections very quick. And that's great, because remember, Bridge has this ability to make these collections, and tied to it is also its ability to do batch renaming, which we'll explore more later. And this makes it really easy to take control of your media. So now that we've got a collection from review mode and I was doing a live session with a client and they were picking out the images they wanted to use, I've got them all selected and that's a great opportunity to make that new collection. Can you bring up that review mode for one more second? Yeah. Because we can do it even though we're looking at a collection in and of itself is that when we go ahead and we look at this, there's a neat feature with this in the bottom right. You'll just notice, just to save you the time, is you can build from that button right there a quick collection real quickly from inside that review mode. Yep. And that's building smart collections as well as regular collections. And that's just it, saving time and effort so once you've made a decision, you don't have to revisit or rethink about something once you've crossed that bridge.